Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I want to apologize for not coming through with a weekly oracle last week. I had a a gastric bug that bit me and I was down for the last 10 days and I'm still kind of recovering, but it's all good. So I'm sorry I wasn't able to come through. I did not um, post that I wouldn't be making a video because I just kept thinking, oh, I'm going to feel better and then I'll do it on Monday or Tuesday or even Wednesday, but then it didn't quite work out. So, um, yeah, so this week uh, we are, um, I know I'm a little bit late uh, because I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm I'm strong enough to be able to do it and I'm happy to be here to be able to do the weekly oracle with you. And uh, we're using the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. And we have three shells here, uh, the option number one, option number two and option number three. Go ahead and make your selection and I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we're using the, the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins uh, Oracle cards. They're very gentle uh, deck. It's very, very gentle messages here. So let's hear what they have to say. And we're asking, what is the weekly Oracle guidance for you? And so for those of you who have chosen the first option here, the card that's come through for you is the helpful person. And the card reads here, someone wants to help you. Think of whom that may be and initiate contact. So I feel here that you have already been in contact, well, some of you at least, would already have been in contact with a few people who would like to be of assistance to you. And the underlying energy here is of needing help, needing assistance, needing to be able to uh, have someone hold your hand as you walk through this path. But there's also a feeling of doubting yourself as you walk through. So you might have already um, booked um, an appointment with somebody who could give you that help or being uh, have, have booked into uh, a course of study that would be able to give you that help. But there's still a sense that, and that's exhibiting the strength and the knowledge that you you need this help because there's strength in, in acknowledging that you need help. And so I think that there, there might be that already for some of you, but for others, it might be that there's still a need for for help and there's a, a sense of vulnerability and a sense of a feeling uh, wounded on some level and not being able to access that help, not being able to ask for that help for whatever reason. And it feels to me here that if you're concerned about financial matters or you're concerned about, um, you know, how you're going to pay this person, then I think that, you know, what you could do is just talk to this person and ask them if you could do that without uh, you know, within your budget, or if you can make some kind of arrangement with them, um, if that is your concern. If your concern is, you know, accessing um, help from a health practitioner and not being able to pay them, well, go ahead and ask them if it's possible for you to come through, if they would be able to give you a discount or something like that. But there's definitely a sense here of needing to bring in um, assistance, needing to have uh, the you know, having having assistance. And I get this image of somebody who's uh, walking through the desert and um, there's the sun is bearing down on them and it's hard for them and they are all alone and they're choosing that path. You know, it's not that somebody, that there isn't somebody around them to help them or that they couldn't have chosen an easier path. So I think the question I want to ask you this week is, why are you choosing the path that you've chosen? Um, and can you choose an easier path for yourself? Can you choose a path for yourself, which is more comfortable, which is which is lighter on you? And do you need to, to suffer in order to be able to, um, to be able to make the, the, the progress that you're trying to make? Is, is, is suffering a, a requirement of that? or oh, it's hardship a requirement of that, because it doesn't need to be. And the moment that you decide, I want this to be easier, I want this to be 
more comfortable, then the universe is going to align itself. Uh, the energy is going to align itself so that your path is easier. And so you can actually have it uh, easier. And in the last few weeks, you might have been in a situation here where you've needed help and or you, you felt um, like a you might have been despairing because you haven't been able to make progress in a particular area. And um, the message that's coming through for you is really just don't worry about it. Just ask for help. Just ask that this path be made easier for you so that you don't need to struggle as you go forth. And uh, struggle is not necessarily a part of this equation. It's not necessarily... Um, it, it's not a must have, you know, you could actually do this and have it be easier and, and still be able to achieve what you're trying to achieve or make the progress that you're trying to make in your life right now, whatever that may be. So in order to get through this next patch, the, um, the advice here is to ask for help. The advice here is to take the help that you need, uh, that you could do with. And don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of of um, appearing weak when you ask for help. Don't be afraid of uh, being too vulnerable and showing your vulnerability. Just go ahead and um, and ask for the help that you need and take the help when it's being offered to you. And, you know, obviously, if you have some reservations about that help and the, the intentions or the, um, yeah, the underlying intentions of that person, if you have some reservations about it, then obviously proceed with caution. But, um, you know, I think it's okay to open yourself up for help that is going to be really um, with the right energy, uh, with the right authenticity, with the intention of helping you and and not hurting you and, and just kind of keep your options open as far as that is concerned. There is also another message coming through here right now. And that is that, you know, you might be surrounded by people who are being very helpful to you um, or somebody that's being very helpful to you. And you feel like you need to break free from this person in order to be able to gain some degree of independence uh, from this person in order to hear your own voice, in order to uh, really be able to uh, define your own path once again, because these helpful people are kind of their energy is overriding your own energy and you're not able to really see your your way forward clearly enough. So if you are in that kind of situation, then uh, and you're wondering why is this helpful person coming up? I don't want their help. I mean, I appreciate their help, but I need to be able to to move ahead and and break free from from the, this web or the, the support system because it's holding me back. Well, if you're in that kind of situation, then go ahead and initiate the contact to a newer environment or um, apologies for that sound of the motorbike that's just gone by. But um, if you, yeah, if you are in that situation where you are feeling like you need to break free from some situation, then initiate contact to a new environment initiate contact to yourself so that you can be that helpful person for you right now so that you can break away okay so that is your message for this week i hope that's been helpful let me know if it has i always love reading your comments so do comment in the comment section uh if you can and uh yeah i wish you a fabulous week ahead please stay healthy and safe and um, many many blessings to you all so for those of you who've chosen the second option here, it's uh, like the, it has the shape of a concha shell. Um, we are asking the question, what is your oracle guidance for the week as we go ahead? What is your oracle guidance as we go ahead? feels to me like this is the card here. Okay, so this card is very much in alignment with the energy right now. Um, I feel like as we are in March right now, things are just really opening up. And some of you might have found that Feb was quite a um, a different kind of month. And for those of you who are coming to this uh, reading at another time in your lives, uh, I'm shooting this in uh, 2021. All right, so... Uh, the card here reads, stay optimistic. And the caption is, your dreams are coming true. 
don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So I feel like if you've been um, invested in a particular idea from the end of last year or at some point, and you've wanted to do something, especially it's not necessarily the end of last year, but especially for some of you, it might be the end of last year. For others of you, it might be sometime, you know, for so, quite some time, you in, invested in, in a dream, in an idea. Um, and that it's not, even though you might feel like you've done all that you can, and even though it might feel like you can't really do much more right now, I think it's important to actually just push ahead and uh, and not give up this moment because you've gotten, uh, you've created a certain kind of a momentum and this momentum is going to take you through um, and to your final destination. So it feels like that's a particular message for a few of you out there, but it's not the ultimate message for all of you. There's a sense here that um, everything is coming together and there's nothing to be concerned about that it's okay to actually just move along as you've been doing until now, but not to lose your momentum, not to have a break in that energy that you've been pushing forth in order to get to where you want to. There's also a sense that things have opened up in a way, um, that there, there is there is the possibility that it might come true. You can see it on the horizon, you know, the place that you're trying to get to, you can see it, It's it exists, it's possible to get there. And it's possible to make these dreams come true. And if if you are not in that space where you, where, if you're still in that space where you're kind of wondering, how am I going to make this come together? What I'm going to do? What am I going to do? Then I think really the the advice, as it states quite clearly here, is stay optimistic um, and have faith. Have faith that your dreams are coming um, true. Don't quit. Uh, wait until it all comes together. Be patient support the energy sometimes you don't need to be actively doing something sometimes it's okay to just hold the space for that what you want and not actually um trying to do something you don't always have to be doing something um in fact sometimes it's okay just to hold the space because in doing so you are actually allowing the energy to come to fruition by itself you know um in my readings i have a lot of clients who who asked me, oh, what must I do? What's next? What should we do now? And, you know, what can I do with this or with that? And sometimes I, I say to them, well, you know, you just need to to relax and let it come to you now. You need to, like, let go of this energy or not let go of your dreams, but let go of trying to do something. Let go of being in control and let the universe take the driver's seat for the moment because that's what's going to allow the, the miracle to occur. That's what's going to allow things to come together in the best possible way. And even though we may think um, that we always know the best possible way for us, there is a greater picture and there's a greater uh, truth that exists that needs to always come to the fore and always needs to uh, kind of guide or navigate through um, and and be the, the, well, the guiding force for whatever it is that we want to. So sometimes we need to just let go of the reins, just relax We've put forth our intention, we've done the work, and we not, just need to take it, take it easy and let it come to fruition. Let it, you know, let the final steps be worked on for you, as opposed to you feeling like you always need to work on it to bring it to a particular state. So I think that this is a great card to have. I think it's a card which is almost like um, a confirmation that what you are heading towards is going to come uh, true and um, I if I had to receive this card personally I would know that I'm on the right path and I would feel like okay I don't have to do too much I've done what I need to do right now and I can just you know hold the space for that energy I think also you know if you are um, a bit uncertain about how things need to be or you're still deciding how things need to be or what you want exactly uh, then now is a great time to fine tune that in the last minute, just to be able to say, okay, well, you know, I want to go in this direction, but I want that it to be like that. Or, you know, I want to be in this kind of relationship, but I want it to be like this. Or I want to finish that and I'd like it to be, you know, I like it to look like that. Uh, you you get what I'm saying, right? So basically just, just the last uh, bits, you know, um, fine tuning it and 
ensuring that it is exactly as you need it to be. And I think that this energy uh, really supports that. And this card is a confirmation that this energy supports that. And especially for you, you know, for those of you who've chosen this option. So not everyone um, who has chosen uh, not everyone is going to be able to partake of that energy and that you've chosen this option is a confirmation that you are going to be able to partake of this energy it's not going to slip you by and you're not going to be um you know less off as a result of this energy so just go with it enjoy it and and stay optimistic and be happy as you go along all right i'm going to leave it there for you and i'm wishing you a lovely uh, week ahead um and many, many blessings to you. Please stay safe and healthy and well. So for those of you who've chosen the third option, uh, which is uh, the shell here, we are asking the question, um, what is your weekly Oracle card guidance as we ask every week or almost every week? So I'm going to give these cards a shuffle. Oops, something's fallen off, but I feel like it's not exactly this. So I'm just going to put it back. Give it a nice shuffle just to see how it comes up again. Feels like there are many cards here that want to come up, so I may take more than one. Okay, let's, let's go with that for the moment and we'll see if there's anything else that comes up. Okay, so this uh, card here reads, uh, ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. And I feel like things have really come together for you right now. And it's really at a state where you can actually enjoy your life, where you can enjoy doing what you're doing. And that doesn't mean that you, you're you not going to be working or you're not going to be studying or you're not going to be doing the the daily chores that you have to do. Uh, but rather, it's, um, it's somehow a confirmation that um, a lot of the work that has been done already and that you can actually just enjoy life right now. You can enjoy those routines. You can enjoy living. And part of living is actually part of enjoying the routines that you have. It's enjoying the, the your daily, um, you know, what whatever you have to do on a daily basis, whether it's, it's uh, uh, securing your meals or cleaning your space or um, taking care of your body, taking care of your well-being, taking care of your mind. All of these things are important parts of um, one's being. And this card, yeah, it feels like it's almost saying, well, listen, you know, I've gotten, we've gotten until here now, or I've gotten you until here now, and you can just enjoy all these things. You can enjoy the simplicity of life. You can enjoy the daily uh, routines and chores that make you feel comforted and secure and warm in your heart. And so it's it's a moment to be able to enjoy that. The other message here is that there's a sense that you can actually just go ahead and enjoy the dreams that you've made come true for yourself already. So even if you're at the very beginning stages of something and you are saying, well, you know, how can I, it says like, ready, set, go, but I, I haven't even begun. I haven't even like had a moment to enjoy my heart's desire because I haven't even begun my work. Then I think this card is saying, well, you know, part of like creating your heart's desire on a daily basis is working on what you do desire, what you what you crave for, what you long for on a daily basis. And if you can work a little bit every day on what it is that you desire, then you're going to be able to make some real progress as you go along. And it's going to be all fine as you as you progress. There's also a sense here that there may be something that you're afraid of. There's may there may be something that's holding you back. There's may there may be something that's holding you uh, back from actually just embarking on your path. And so the, this card is is almost saying, well, you know, don't worry about that. It's time to get going now. It's time to get moving, and just to do it. And this is a great time to be able to do that because I think from an energetic point of view, 
you have the support that you need to be able to begin the things and to be able to move forth in a new energy, whether that just means enjoying your daily routines and finding uh, the sacred moments in your daily routines or just beginning new projects uh, or bringing projects that have been lagging and hanging around for some time to to an end, just bringing things to fruition, bringing things to closure. And I feel that this is this energy as we are right now, it really supports that. It really supports that kind of, um, of an endeavor. And uh, so I think that this is a wonderful card to have. Uh, it's quite similar to the option number two in a way, although it's slightly different. The messages are slightly different, but the energy is, is fairly similar. And I, I think that it's it's wonderful, you know. There's nothing that can hold you back right now. This, for those of you who have chosen this option, there's nothing that should be holding you back right now. So if you have some reservations, if you have some things, some some insecurities, some fears that are holding you back from actually making that step, from actually going right ahead, then I think that what you need to do is simply say, I, you know, to hell with it. I'm just going to go along and and I'm going to just move ahead and make this happen and you know all cares to the wind and I'm going forward and I think that this is really that the energy behind this card it's basically saying well to hell with everything <laughs> I don't know how else to put that um, and I'm just gonna go ahead I'm just gonna make this happen and nothing's going to stop me. And I feel that when I keep, when I think about this and I think about this energy and I think about this card, I feel that this energy is last, lasts until about the end of May or so. So it's like March, April, May, um, these three months, this energy lasts with you and you can just get things into motion and you can really finish things in this time and really begin things even if you don't finish it and really make a good head start and make some, some ground, you know, make some some headway with with the work that you're doing right now. So I know I'm talking about it in terms of work, but you know, it could be your studies, it could be a relationship, it could be the work that you're doing with yourself, it could be a course that you've embarked upon, it could be um, something that you are um, that you are working on physically, you know, a particular strength that you're working on, you know, trying to uh, develop particular muscles or um, or something with regard to your health. So I talk about it as work, but I mean it as everything, basically. Um, and, uh, you know, I think uh, a point that I've made already, I just want to emphasize is that it's about being able to enjoy the view from where you are. You know, it's about being able to really enjoy the sacred moments in life, in, in daily activities, in, uh, in going ahead, just trying to um, take in all the joy in life and just being able to feel that, being able to en embrace that, being able to breathe that and, and just embody that. And uh, I think that as you go ahead, this is going to be a really good time for you to feel at one with the universe and feel at one with that sacred energy and being able to bring more of that sacred energy inside of you all right so i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna leave it um yeah i'm gonna leave it at that space with you and i hope that you are able to embody this energy and feel that i hope you you're able to feel that as you go ahead and uh, you allow that energy to kind of um push you forth as the week goes ahead and if you're not feeling this energy right now I think by Thursday you might be and as you go ahead in the next few weeks and months all right so much love to you all and many blessings and uh, stay safe stay healthy stay well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising